everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Isha. And for today's video, I'll be doing a little bit of Get Ready With Me and a review at the same time. And I'll be featuring this product and this is the Beauty Sensations X Michelle D Face Brush Set. So if you want to know my thoughts about this product, kung paano siya ka... Eh? Kung paano ko siya gamitin, then please keep on watching. I have already mentioned this product sa aking previous haul. Nakasama ko yung aking cute at makulit na pamangkin na si Mia. Kaya wala na siya dun sa kanyang box and dun sa may sleeve. Pero kung gusto nyo makita yun, please do click the i-card somewhere up there or the link down below para mapanood nyo yung aking haul with this one. So ito na nga yung mismong lalagyan without the packaging. And this cost 999 pesos. And for me, I think it is okay na for 5 products. I mean 5 brushes. And this super cute, nice, and mukha namang um, sturdy na makeup pad. And once you open it up, ayan, nag cute pa ng may tassel siya. Na feel din yung color, same as the bag. And ayan, pag open mo, ayan na yung brushes. So, unfortunately, ginamit ko na yung brushes kanina. Ayan, para ma-review siya. Actually, sinalag ko na rin yung review kanina. But, nung chinect ko yung mga clips, hindi pala ganun kaganda yung lighting kasi hindi ito yung pwesto ko kanina. Nandun lang sa vanity mirror ko para lang talaga ma-check talaga siya. I mean, ma-apply siya on my face like how I normally do. So, ayan. Hindi na siya ganun kaginis ngayon. Nalaglag pa yung isa. So, for the face brush set, lima siya, obviously. So, merong angled contour brush, my highlighter brush, my flat foundation brush, my blush brush, and lastly is the fluffy angled brush. Ayan. So, iba't ibang shapes, iba't ibang sizes, pero pare-parehas ang sila ng um, bristles na synthetic. So, kung i-co-compute mo siya, siguro mga less than 200 pesos each. Pero, tingnan ko kanina, what if take 170 pesos each um, brush, tapos yung mismong lalagyan or pouch is 150 pesos or 149 pesos. So, hindi na masama. As in, sulit na siya for me. At, yung mga brushes, I think magagamit talaga. Walang tapon. I think, so, browsing through the makeup brushes, ang napansin ko kagad is hindi ko gagamitin yung specific product dun sa specific na use na sinabi nila. Just like, kunwari, itong um, angled contour brush, I didn't use it for contouring kasi I think medyo, ayun know, medyo mataba yung, yan, yung brush para sa pag-contour ng cheeks. But I use this for blush kasi mas perfect yung shape niya for me para mag-blush na konting ganyan-ganyan lang, then ayan, may blush ka na. And then, ang nalito ko actually is this two. Same lang siya ng itsura, but the difference is the sizes. So, mas malaki itong isa and mas maliit. And, according to the plastic lalagyan, mas malaki yung lalagyan ng highlighter brush compared to the blush brush. So, ibig sabihin, this one is the highlighter brush and this one is the blush brush. But, obviously, it's too small for a blush brush, itong isa. But the other two, the flat foundation brush and then the fluffy angled brush, ginamit ko naman sila sa sinabi nilang paggagamitan. So, foundation brush, hindi, actually concealer yung binlan ko with this one. And then this one is for powder, which is perfect kasi perfect siya. Ayan. Another thing na napansin ko is yung sa kanyang handle. Kumikita niyo yung handle. Nakalagay lang dyan, Michelle D. And then, sa ilalim, or kabilang side is the Beauty Sensations. Ayun yung nakalagay. Wala siyang makalagay sa mismong brush kung para saan siya. Just like this, dapat may nakalagay na fluffy angled brush. Para lang hindi nakakalito. Kasi actually, dito sa dalawa, nalito talaga ako kung ano yung pang highlighter and pang blush. Kasi almost same siya. Ayun. So, sabi ko nga kanina na film ko na yung paggamit nito sa aking face, hindi lang ganun kaganda yung lighting. But, yan. I'll show you the clip now. But, of course, first thing na ginagawa natin is to prime our face. And the primer that I'll be using is the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer. But for the primer, syempre, daliri lang naman yung ginagamit natin sa this one. So, na-apply ko na nga yung primer at ang gagawin ko na is the concealer kasi ayaw ko mag BB cream ngayon or mag foundation. So, concealer. At ang concealer na gamitin ko is the Revolution 
conceal and define. Pero yung parang ginagawa ko rin to as parang foundation na rin ng konti kasi nalagay ko siya dito. Pag ganyan. Um, on your side. And then, naglalagay na rin ako dito para matanggal yung mga veins or makover up yung veins ko dyan. And here. And here. And here. O, diba? Parang foundation na rin. And of course, I'll be using the flat foundation brush. So, ayan. Kung na kita nyo ng maayos, meron siyang mga streaks. I mean, meron mga buhok na hindi pantay-pantay. Kung may kita nyo ng ganyan, meron mas hair na mas mahaba or bristles mas mahaba. So, hindi siya ganun kapantay-pantay. So, I will just blend. Actually, yung pag-blend ko is usually pag ganyan, pabilog. So, may kita natin kung may streaks ba ito. Kasi according to Michelle D's video about this product, hindi rin siya nag-leave ng streak. Pero in all fairness, ang lambot-lambot niya. So far, maganda. Na-blend niya agad-agad. Hmm. Siya sa lambot niya ba sa face? It's so relaxing na i-blend. Ayan. So, tinitignan ko ngayon ng mga lapitan. Okay naman yung pag-blend niya. Hindi naman siya streaky or whatsoever. Pantay naman yung pagka-blend. At sobrang sarap talaga niya i-blend on my face. Ang sobrang ano niya, lambot, ganyan. And, walang sticks. So, for this one, I like it. It's actually, di ba, ginamit ka rin concealer. Gagamit ulit ako na isa pang kind of lighter concealer para ma-brighten yung ditong konti. So, ginagamit ko is the Catrice Cosmetics Light Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Konti lang. This is waterproof. Konti lang dyan. And again, blend. Tapos, pinabuff ko na lang na ganito. Pababa. So, done with the base. Now, ang gagawin ko na is to lightly bake my under eye area. And what I use is the Vice Cosmetics Tool Finish Foundation Shade of Morena. Ito, hindi ko siya ginagamit all over my face kasi sobra siyang hypoxidized. So, what I do is just, ayan, parang lightly bake. And what I use all over my face recently is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. So, lalagay ko lang dyan. And, syempre, gagamitin na natin is the fluffy angled brush na ginagamit niya for the powder. So, ito, maganda daw yung kanyang form because kuha yung mga gilid-gilid ng face. So, kuha lang akong konti. And, just like that. Dab first. And, blend. Well, in fairness, compared to the other um, powder brushes, ito kasi nga, angled na siya, so, kuha na isang ganun lang, tapos. Kaya niyang sumiksik sa mga iba't ibang parts or sa mga malilit na parts ng face. Like, sides of nose, ganyan. Under area na hindi malasakan yung mata mo. And, syempre, malambot din tong brush nito kasi I think pare-pares naman sila ng bristles. Shapes lang and sizes yung kakaiba nila. Now, down to the last Thick brushes of the Michelle D Basics Face Brushes. So, ito daw yung kanilang contour brush. So, ito yung blush brush and this is the highlighter brush. Pero, imi-mix-mix ko sila. Kasi, mas comfortable ako gamitin itong highlighter brush or blush brush as a contour. And this contour brush for blush. And, of course, itong maliit, pinamaliit, is for highlighter. So, ayan, gagamitin ko na nga itong blush brush or highlighter brush, di ko talaga alam na lilito na ako which is which. Kasi yung mas malaki na ganito yung shape to contour my face. So, what I will use to contour is my favorite Benefit Hula Bronzer. Kasi yung ginagamit ko talaga ang brush to contour my face is the Real Techniques Contour Brush and medyo same yung shape niya. So, mas gamay ko siya. And I think kasi kapag ito yung sa blush, parang isang puldok lang siya dito. Rather than this one for the contour, at least isang line siyang ganyan, di ba, ang contour. Kasi may blend mo na lang upwards. So, ayan. Mas defined siya. For me, I think. And mas fit siya sa nose area. Well, depende na lang talaga sa gamayan mo when it comes to brushes. Kaya siya, mas gamay niya yung angled brush for the blush. Eh, ako mas gamay ko yung ganitong parang dome brush for contouring. Pero, ewan ko, parang wala masyadong pigment na kumakapit pagdating sa bronzer or contour. Dito sa brush na to, parang mas gusto ko medyo mas fluffy siya ng konti for contouring. Lalo na for blush. Eh, no, mas fit kasi to sa nose. Mas mas mabiblend mo na siya papunta dito. Compared to an angled brush, 
na dun lang, streaky lang siya na nandyan sa ilong. Parang hindi super blended. On to the blush, my favorite lately is the Generation Happy Skin Instant Glow Longwear Powder Blush in the shade of Freedom. So, ayan yung mid. Medyo peachy ganyan. And I'll be using the Angled Contour Brush as a blush brush. Kasi parang mas madali. I think, for me, pag ganitong brush yung gagamitin mo, on your cheeks kasi mas full siya, di ba? Mas ganun. And ganito kasi ako mag-apply ng blush. Parang, ayan, yung side na pa ganyan, nakapababa. So, ganyan yung angle. And, itadrag mo siya konti pa ganyan. Hindi ko sinaswipe na ganyan. Lastly, is the highlighter brush. Yung pinakamaliit sa face brush collection. And, ang ginagamit ko recently for highlighter na subtle lang, na hindi bongga, hindi masyadong blinding. And, yung pang everyday lang na highlight is the Elf X Heart Defense Store na coffee and cream highlighter. Ang ginagamit ko is this one. Parang subtle kasi siya na more on mas natural na highlighter for everyday. Oh, mas perfect siya for highlighting yung ganitong shape. Pero sa video ni Michelle, di ginamit ito for blending the concealer. Pero nakita niyo naman kanina yung flat top na foundation brush. Pwede na siya to blend your concealer. Mas madali and mas mabilis. So, ayun yung highlight. Subtle lang na highlight. At so, ayun yung lagay ko konti sa tip of my nose. Konti sa nose bridge. Wait out dito. And ang nilalagyan ko is dito. Ayan. So, ayan. Kita nyo naman. Nagamit ko na lahat ng brushes. Hindi na sila ganun kaputi ngayon. And I'll just finish off my makeup. And I'll get back to you with my final um, review or ano ba, opinion about these products. So, so far, I think this is very much sulit kasi magagamit mo lahat talaga ng brushes, walang patapon, and sobrang lambot, parang namamasad yung face mo when you buff it in your face. And, ayun, mukha namang magandang quality. Actually, slightly na-disappoint lang ako kasi inisip ko na pati yung brush handle kasing color nito. But no, it is just gray or silver. Ayan, pero okay lang. Mas sleek tignan, hindi masyadong playful tignan, it's just normal. And another thing na napansin ko dito rin sa brush na to, ayan, kung nag-focus ito, nakikita nyo ba yan? Nag-iisang white na yan. Para syang yung bristle na umikot. So, hindi ko siya matanggal or ma-pull. Kasi nagdikit yung both sides ng bristle sa baba. So, dapat pataas siyang ganun ang nangyari, umikot siya. Parang ingrown. <laughs> ganun yung nangyari sa kanya. And, hindi sobrang pantay ng mga, um, mga bristles. Meron pa rin pataas, may isa pa rin nakaganon, ganyan-ganyan. Ito, mas mahaba compared dun sa dito talaga. Ayan. So, yun lang naman. Pero, hindi naman kasi may iwasan yun sa mga brushes. Ayan din. Ito rin. Kung may kita nyo, may nakataas na ganun sa gitna. Hindi siya pantay-pantay. Ito din. Ayan, dito. Ayan, para hindi naman yung may iwasan. And okay lang for the price. Kasi murang-mura lang. Para sa akin, mura yung parang less than 200 pesos per brush. Na ganito kalambot, synthetic, and useful. So, ayan na nga. That is about it for this review. I hope you enjoyed this video and find this helpful. And if you did, hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below kung na-try nyo na to. Nagustuhan nyo ba siya? Ano yung favorite brush nyo dun sa lima? And yeah, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click the notification bell para ma-notify din kayo whenever I upload videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!